Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of integer operations. This is standard 6.3D in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 25 off the 2017 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So which expression has a value of negative 22? We're dealing with integers, that means whole numbers that are either positive or negative, and these are expressions simply because they don't have an equal sign. We just have to reduce each of these. What is going to be our best friend in the world is going to be this order of operations. Many of you remember, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, that's parentheses, exponents. I like to put lines here. Multiplication and division can come. Uh, they're both equal, so whichever one pops up first, left, right. Same with addition and subtraction. Even though we put the multiplication before division and addition before subtraction, these two are equal, and either of those can go first. Same with those. So let's just simplify each of these expressions and see what happens. We're going to need to remember also that when you get a positive and a negative, or a negative and a positive, that always equals a negative. And if you get two negatives, or you get two positives, that always equals a positive. So that's going to be very important as well. And then finally, whenever you see multiplication, or you see a number next to a multiplication, that means uh, parentheses here. Parentheses is going to be hidden inside that parent. That multiplication is going to be hidden inside that parentheses here. So now we're ready with. with those tools, the positive and negative, the parentheses means multiplication, and please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, we're ready to rock this. So let's take this 8 minus negative 3 plus 33 divided by negative 3. So there's, uh, there's no parentheses with multiple things in there, so there's no exponents. We're going to look at multiplication and division. So this is really what we're going to look at first. Right there, we've got that 33 divided by that negative 3. So it's going to be 8 minus negative 3 plus, and let's just simplify that, 33 divided by 3 is 11. So 33 divided by negative 3 is going to be negative 11. And so these two, you, when you're minusing a negative, remember two negatives make a positive, that's really 8 plus 3, and then a positive and a negative make a negative, minus 11, so guess what, that's 11 minus 11, that makes 0. That is not what we're looking for. Let's look at B. We've got negative 3 plus negative 2 minus negative 8 minus 1. It's all addition and subtraction here. We don't have any parentheses, multiplication, or division. So let's just look at it like this. Minus 3. Remember, we got a plus and a negative. That makes a minus 2. Negative and negative makes a plus 8. Minus 1. So these two are going to be negative 5. And then 8 minus 1 is going to be 7 plus 7. So that makes 2. Not quite what we're looking for. Let's look at C. We do have a little bit of multiplication here. Negative 6 times 2 minus negative 15. So let's take care of this multiplication first. So 6 times 2 is 12. Negative 6 times 2 then is negative 12. And then we've got this minus minus. Remember that makes a plus. So we have negative 12 plus 15. That's the same as 15 minus 12 if you want to flip around. So that is going to be just a measly 3. So I really hope D is our answer because we are running out of options. And it only has 3, interesting, it only has 3 numbers there. Negative 5 times 2 minus 12. Well, we've got no parentheses, we've got no exponent, but we do have a multiplication here. So 5 times 2 is 10, negative 5 times 2 is negative 10, negative 10 minus 12. So when we're taking our negative 10, if we want to look at our number line here, so here's 0, here's negative 10, and if we take minus 12, that goes this way. So that is going to be our negative 22. Negative 10 minus 12 is negative 22 because minus goes left, and that's what we're looking for. So our answer is going to be D.